right, well, let's talk about our current healthcare system in the U.S. So if we're going to kind of cheat it and pose improvements for what we would like to see in the future. Okay. Single payer healthcare or universal healthcare, we have, you know, we want to frame this in a little bit of context. Very often when we're talking about these issues, we get into very quickly this discussion of what is public and what is private. The problem of, you know, you have you have you have an insurance policy, but when you actually get sick, you realize that your out-of-pocket liability is so high that you're still susceptible to financial ruin. Um, increase in out-of-pocket. This idea that, you know, that we can't have this conversation just about when we say health care costs. We really have to mean health care costs. Because a lot of times they'll tell you, we're cutting costs uh, to health care and it's the government cost. Well, the, guess what's happening? Guess who, who it just went over onto? If the government ain't paying it. You got it. It's the patients. That this, this to me is the crux of it right here, is that I then was saying to myself, what do I do for this woman who has no insurance right now? Will I add to her stress, which we all know can worsen disease, right? Sometimes causes disease. Continue to be problems with gaps in coverage. Uh, patients continue to fight with insurance companies to get some basic coverage provisions that you would think your insurance would cover. Should have skin in the game, co-pays, deductibles, as a means of controlling overuse of health resources. So they need to have to, have to pay the first seven, uh, $7,500 before they can get anything paid. So if you happen to be an unfortunate human being that suffers from hepatitis C, um, from HIV, you have now been discriminated against because those drugs are so high and they are not covered under most of those plans for the full cost. That over half of these people that went bankrupt had insurance at the time of their bankrupting illness. Our hospitals are actually suing patients to recover money uh, that the patients weren't able, their, their out-of-pocket costs that the patients aren't able to to uh, come up with. So we're basically shaking down our patients for money they don't have, sick patients. Now how many nurses nowadays feel like they can do this? To the, to the level that they want to do this. I mean, we're, we're more and more pushed um, to look at our care as like business. It's all about malpractice and all about defensive medicine. No, it's not. It's a teeny tiny amount within that big multi-trillion dollar system we've got. I think it's what, it's 1% or something of that big huge system, about or two, two or three, okay. It's, and it, so in the big picture of things, very, very little. It's not real.